Wondering what summer in Southwest Montana is like? Well, I'm gonna go in depth about the weather, the sunshine, and all kinds of things to do all over the Bozeman, Montana area, as well as the Gallatin Valley and beyond. So let's get right into it about the what to do, the where to go, and what it's really like here in summertime. By the way, my name is Hallie. I'm a local real estate agent. And if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Bozeman, Montana and the surrounding areas here in Southwest Montana, like Livingston, NS, Big Sky and Three Forks, then be sure to subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market here in Bozeman and those surrounding areas. The team and I get calls, texts and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move here in beautiful Southwest Montana. And we absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to buy or sell or move or invest in the next couple of weeks, couple of months, or even a year, feel free to reach out. You can shoot me a text to send me an email or give me a call or even set up a Zoom call with me. And I'd be honored to help you find your place here in Bozeman or those surrounding areas all over Southwest Montana. First and foremost, I wanted to touch on the weather. Montana is known for our harsh winters, but summers around here are absolutely beautiful as well. Between our elevation right around 4,800 feet above sea level, and of course the mountains that surround us, all of these things contribute to the weather we experience. Summer really kicks off right around the end, middle to end of June, and lasts basically until early to mid September. An average high temperature in the month of July is about 83 degrees and an average low is about 50 degrees. And July, unlike June, only sees about five days of rainfall, whereas June sees almost double that. Uh, so it does tend to get quite a bit drier as we get into the summer. Now, rainstorms in Southwest Montana in summertime are typically pretty short-lived, but they often do come with quite a bit of lightning and thunder and often with hail as well. Historically, the state of Montana only has one day of the calendar year that has never had recorded snowfall, but those summer snowstorms are pretty rare. But anything is possible, especially if you head up into the mountains. Big Sky, for instance, just this year, saw snow on the evening uh, before July 4th of this year. There was snow up on Lone Peak, uh, but they are at a much higher elevation. They are tucked more in the mountains, so that definitely makes a difference. Overall, though, summers here are fairly dry, so we tend to appreciate any kind of precipitation that we get, especially because it can prevent us from having a more difficult fire season in the late summer and early fall. So yes, we do have a fire season here. Sometimes, you know, forest fires in the local mountains. Other times we do see smoke from other parts of the state or even neighboring states, and sometimes even from the north of us in Canada. So we especially welcome those storms that roll through during that time of year uh, as well, because it does tend to clear out that smoke and uh, potentially help with some of the fires themselves. Summertime here in Bozeman also brings with it longer days. So we're all pretty eager to get out and soak up some of that sunshine after what could definitely be considered most years to be a long, cold, dark winter. Spring time around here is pretty short because winter definitely extends itself a little ways into the spring months as well. So we all enjoy that extra daylight quite a bit as summer rolls in. For instance, uh, sunset on our longest day, the first day of summer, wasn't until 9.18 p.m. It is about 8 o'clock right now, and the sun is definitely still up behind me here. And then again, on that longest day, we actually saw sunrise at 5.35 a.m. So a lot of people, including myself, love to get out and take advantage of that extra daylight um, and enjoy the beautiful summer weather. That of course brings me to what is there to do around Bozeman or around the Gallatin Valley in summertime. And the answer is so much. There are plenty of wonderful community events. I uh, like the Sweet Pea Festival of the Arts that happens in August, as well as farmers markets every week and the downtown art walks that happen once per month. There's also a variety of rodeos that take place uh, in Ennis, Big Sky, Livingston, and Three Forks. And of course, there are some awesome outdoor music festivals that also take place in the area, Red Ants Pants out uh, north of Livingston, and of course, the Rock in the Rivers 
right outside of Three Forks. And then not to be forgotten, of course, is Music on Main, which happens every Thursday night all summer long in downtown Bozeman, where they close off most of Main Street and have a great stage set up for local and touring musicians. There's also plenty of outdoor dining opportunities as well, from Map Brewing with their amazing outdoor patio overlooking the Gallatin Valley Recreation Area, which is a wonderful you know, body of water right near town where some people choose to swim or maybe stay stand up paddleboard as well. And then of course there's the patio dining at Forger Brewing and the rooftop dining and drinks at the Sky Shed right downtown at the top of the Kimpton Armory Hotel. Bozemanites love some good patio dining and a great locally crafted beer. Of course, that's often preceded by getting out in the mountains, uh, partaking in some kind of adventure, or maybe getting out on the water. Everything from whitewater rafting and kayaking, or for the less adventurous, maybe you just want to go for a lazy float down the Madison River. The rivers and lakes that are all around this area are absolutely perfect, particularly if you are a fisherman as there are many different opportunities or many different options for getting out and doing some fly fishing. There's blue ribbon trout fishing on the rivers all around the area. The wildflowers in the mountains when you're out for a hike and that sort of thing are absolutely spectacular in the early summer as well. Though myself and many other locals would ask you to leave them be instead of picking them so they can be enjoyed by all. Now, berry picking in the summertime is definitely a coveted pastime around here, but don't expect anybody to tell you where they're finding any huckleberries because most people will not share their secret spot. But if you do intend to get out there, and search for them. They are all over the place, but be sure to know exactly what you're looking for. For those looking for a nice pool or even a relaxing soap, there's also several hot springs in the area. The Bozeman Hot Springs just outside of Bozeman in Four Corners um, is a wonderful spot with several outdoor pools and they do live music. Of course, there is Chico Hot Springs, the older historic hot springs outside of, uh, or rather south of Livingston, Montana. And then there is also Norris Hot Springs, um, which is a little bit more rustic, a little bit more remote, just outside of Bozeman, about 30 minutes towards Norris. There's also a wonderful opportunity for rock climbing as well as hiking, biking, and camping all over the surrounding mountains. Highlight Canyon, Cottonwood Canyon, Sipes Canyon, Leverage Canyon, and so many more provide amazing opportunities to get out and explore. Whether it's hiking or biking, there never seems to be quite enough time each summer to take it all in. There's even a trail called Main Street to the Mountains, uh, which winds from downtown all the way to clear to the foothills in the mountains, winding past, you know, creeks and ponds and neighborhoods, all thanks to the Gallatin Valley Land Trust. Of course, there are parks all over the area as well, including several dog parks because Bozeman is incredibly dog friendly um, and so many people around here have pets and love to get outside with them as well. Many people in the area also like to garden. So you'll see uh, some folks have substantial vegetable or flower gardens all around. And those of us who do are very thankful for the many wonderful nurseries and greenhouses um, around the area providing, uh, you know, starters and seeds and plants of all kinds. Now the gardening season here is somewhat limited, so you're gonna not be able to grow certain things that might take more time. But all in all, most people make it work by starting things indoors perhaps, um, so they can extend that growing season a bit longer. Another wonderful Bozeman summer pastime is golf. Uh, Bozeman, of course, has two public golf courses, Cottonwood and Bridger Creek Golf Courses. And then, of course, there are three private courses as well, Black Bull, Riverside, and Valley View. And then, uh, not to be forgotten, of course, up in Big Sky, there is the public golf course up there and several private clubs also. And of course, there's plenty of awesome things to go and do and see outside of the Gallatin Valley. Um, to name a few, driving up to Helena and playing on some of the beautiful lakes up there. Uh, you could also check out Quake Lake down to the south. And of course, there are some really cool old ghost towns in the state, some historical sites and Crystal Park, as well as Gem Mountain Sapphire Mine in Phillipsburg. Or maybe you want to go uh, just a little bit further and maybe visit Glacier National Park. The Going to the Sun Highway that spans the you know, mountain pass in that park does open typically on June 1st um, when they've gotten all of the snow clearing and maintenance out of the way. Um, and that typically closes again in early fall. So summer is a wonderful time to visit Glacier. It's about five to six hours away from Bozeman. Now for Yellowstone National Park, I typically prefer a springtime or a fall visit 
because you will have less tourists or less people around in general, and you'll have a better chance of seeing more animals and that sort of thing as well. And one of my personal favorite things in the summer are some of the absolutely breathtaking sunsets that we get to see. With the mountain backdrop and the scenery overall, they just can't be beat. And if you're looking for a spectacular sunset experience, be sure to drive over and do the M uh, hiking trail at sunset and you won't be disappointed. Now I've already mentioned some of the breweries in the area, but it absolutely bears repeating. Bozeman, Three Forks, Livingston, even Belgrade all have some absolutely phenomenal breweries. Um, and many of them have spectacular views of the surrounding scenery as well. And of course, no matter what you're headed out to do, whether you're headed into the mountains or just gonna spend some time outside in the valley, be sure to be prepared for anything. Weather-wise especially, uh, you're gonna wanna have a you know extra layer or jacket just in case some weather does come through. And you're gonna wanna be sure to communicate your whereabouts or where you're planning to be uh, to your loved ones or family and friends. The mountains are amazing, but there are also plenty of wildlife you can encounter. So be sure to learn which areas you may need bear spray in, which is most of them, of course. Um, and again, let people know um, where you're headed and when you should be returning just in case. So what is your favorite thing about summer in Montana? Uh, you can leave them in the comments below, or of course, if you have any questions, you can do the same. Or if you'd like to, you can reach out directly and I'd be happy to help. And if you're curious about winter or perhaps learning more about Bozeman overall or some of the surrounding communities like Belgrade and Livingston and Three Forks and Big Sky, then be sure to check out some of my previous videos um, where I've done various vlog tours as well as pros and cons and so much more. And as always, whether you're looking to buy or sell or move or invest in the next couple of weeks, couple of months, or even a year, feel free to reach out. You can give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or we can even jump on a Zoom call. And I'd be honored to help you find your place here in beautiful Bozeman, Montana, or the surrounding areas here in Southwest Montana. And until next time, I hope to see you out here.